So at this point, bird pretty much has all of feathers. We're doing some walking while I uh, while I do my I do steps, you know, for uh, my health. And I'm getting my fingers nibbled. As you can see, tail has come in. Uh, baby has baby bars, very pink ones. Uh, baby's looking a lot more like mom than dad. Dad's very bright yellow. You might have seen in some of the pictures recently because both parents have been feeding baby now. Uh, before this, McCoy kind of indirectly fed baby. Uh, McCoy would often feed Booster, especially while Booster was nesting more. And while Booster was staying with baby more. Yeah, this is not going to be a very steady uh, camera ride. Me walking. As you can see, baby's very comfortable in my hand, and that was me bumping against the door. Ow. But baby's gotten very comfortable with us, which is good. So, baby is both being fed by parents, but doesn't mind being handled. And that's something that we're trying to make sure of, that, you know, baby is hand tamed. We, we've never had a chance to hand tame one of our birds before since well um, they come to us as is most of them are rescues currently of the eight other birds in our flock besides baby six are rescues of various sorts Oop, got out of focus There we go. Oh, uh, no. Hmm. Dang it. Vinny came to us after his owner of 10 years passed away. And he's been with us over 10 years now, so he's pretty up there. He's around 21 or so. Not sure exactly. Uh, CD is our younger cockatiel, and Somebody returned him because he was apparently too loud. We, we joked that he was 20% louder at most. I can stop walking now because my timer just went off. My, I got my steps. Uh, Jesse uh, was in a hoarding situation. Somebody who had too many pets. Poor Jesse. Uh, Barry and Tony were found abandoned in an apartment, starving. Uh, when they came to us, they had ataxia, which um, basically we were worried it could have been permanent. It's kind of you know potential nerve damage, but they recovered fine, and their plumage is much brighter now, and so on. So they, you know, after getting on good nutrition for a while, they were fine. We we think that well. Um, we think that they also just weren't being fed well because budgies won't survive like two days without food. So we think they had some food, but not much. And yeah, but they're doing much better now. Uh, McCoy, this little one's father, had um, been rejected by the flock at the pet store and had been in the back on its own on his own poor thing for a number of months and they told us that they didn't think he would be able to integrate but he did and well as you can see he definitely integrated because he made it with the flock leader booster our sole female at this point to have this little one this nibbly little one who might be trying to tell me hey uh, where's the food uh, we do have food for baby just in case but we've not been using it because we we only have it if the you know if the parents stop feeding uh, we weren't sure if they would boosters never had a baby before so 
We wanted to be safe. But so far we haven't. Um, since we have way more than we need, what will probably happen is, once baby's old enough that we don't have to worry at all, we're going to donate it to uh, probably the local wildlife rescue place. They deal with a lot of babies and so on. And, oh yeah, I'm getting heavily nibbled. Hi, baby. If you're wondering, no, that doesn't hurt. Baby's not really biting. A lot of people are afraid of bird beaks, I find. But while they can definitely give you a nip that hurts, um, especially if they want to, that's if they want to. And a lot of times they don't. Uh, Vinny, for instance, often gums me, as we call it. He doesn't really bite usually. Uh, Booster, this little one's mother, can definitely bite. And Maui can and will, but a lot of our birds don't. Yeah, I think it's time to bring little one back. Little one's looking hungry. I'm um, looking around, trying to find food. Th this is the time, basically, where baby starts actually trying to find food on baby's own. Baby will probably get a name soon, too. Oh, baby's making noises. Yeah, let's get you back, baby.